Welcome to Carolina Trail and Travel. <clears throat> Today we're going to be putting LED fog lights in my 2021 Gladiator. take these little pins out here locking clips I guess is the better way to say it okay so the front uh, valence slash air dam is out after taking all the uh, <clears throat> push locks out there they are keep up with those you're gonna need them okay now we're under the Jeep uh, next thing I do we've got two cylinder seven millimeter um, screws on the splash guard underneath you got one here under the driver's side one here and then we have some clips we're gonna have to take out here so let's do that okay splash guard is off now i gotta take these two bolts out oh the ones down here on the splash guard are 10 millimeter not seven i apologize about that but let's go and get these off All right, to get this off, just kind of pull it forward and pull up. It comes right off. Okay, taking a 18 millimeter deep well socket. There are four bolts on each side of the bumper that have to come out. So that's what we're gonna do now. All right, so we've got the bumper bolts off, actually the nuts, excuse me. And the inside, because of my sway bar here, um, I couldn't get my uh, impact in. So I had to do it by hand, uh, so it just took a little bit longer, no big deal. All right, and next thing I want to do <clears throat> is unplug your harness for your fog light. A few minutes later. You have to get a screwdriver in behind this little tab here, lift up, and then pull it out. Um, so here, just get a screwdriver, lift it up, and pull it out. And that'll get that out. So next step, get you something, put your your bumper on so it won't keep it, or keep it from getting scratched up, and start taking these little clips out again all the push pins off pull the cover off we're gonna take these four screws off uh, I believe that's a seven millimeter let me double check seven millimeter yes seven millimeter you can drop that off pull your plug here drop it through and then we're gonna put these Mopar um, LED fog lights back in We've taken this one out, taken that one out. We've replaced the fog lights. Um, when you pull them out, they will come out a solid piece like this. And then the other ones just slip right in. You put your screws back in, plug it up, and then we're gonna put it on. And before I bolt everything down, I'm gonna plug it up and test the lights to make sure that they do work because it'd be my luck I get everything bolted all the way in, turn it on and something not work. So we are gonna double check it. So, I didn't film any to put it back together it's just a reverse process we went back together in like 15 minutes um overall man this thing probably took <clears throat> 45 minutes to change everything flip it around no big deal easy loved it um one issue they do work they flicker <clears throat> and i didn't realize that i had just found out after <clears throat> the old google search that when you saw mopar uh leds um after the fact if you've got like the halogen set up uh they will flicker so luckily my buddy sold his gladiator and has a taser mini he's gonna sell me i'm gonna put that on there it'll take care of the flickering uh, but man like changing my headlights and the fog lights out the led i love it uh the headlights look amazing i am super happy with these guys the fog lights you know i mean they they don't add a lot to it but they're there they add brightness at night which is great um the fog or the headlights man those dv8s took them out last night haven't aimed them they're pretty close to where they need to be um they cast very well there's an awesome cutoff line the brights are super bright i haven't had any issues with the brights uh uh not working or flickering or anything i think that's another issue that can happen but i haven't seen that <clears throat> but the dv8s definitely would recommend if you're looking to upgrade your fogs go to ebay man i paid for a set of factory fog lights and a harness which i didn't need the harness the harness was gravy 
Um, I think I paid eighty nine dollars shipped to the house, and if you buy them new, I think they're upwards of three hundred maybe. But I appreciate you checking in for Carolina Trail and Travel. Um, like, subscribe, and share this video. We need the likes and the subscribes to grow our video. We are trying our best to grow, get out and do more things. Uh, but just taking a chance and watching it, man, we really appreciate that too. Have a great day. Love you guys.